Welcome once again. Today we are going to add and subtract length the measurements unit. Let's start with addition. We are given two examples here that you have to work out. The, th the first one is three kilometers plus 200 meters is equal to how many meters? The second one is 50 hectometers plus 40 decimeters equal to how many decimeters? Remember that we have learned how to convert the units of length measurements. And here we are given different units. The first one is kilometer, and then we are also given meters. So for us to do it correctly, you have to always start with converting the units. We convert the units to the ASCII the unit. The ASCII the unit is meters here. So we use the conversion table and then as usual you fill in the given numbers or the given digits here we convert three kilometers to meters before we start adding we fill in with the zeros until you get to meters and then here down remember that when you are adding we arrange vertically the digits vertically according to their place values the zero here, which is the last digit, is put in the position of meters, and then here we'll be having zero, and the remaining digits, which are two and zero, are put before, before zero, and then we start adding. In this case, we'll be sure that you, your answer is correct, and then you add zero plus zero is zero, zero plus zero is zero, zero plus two is two, and three is brought down or you can also add zero here and then three plus zero is three the answer is now three thousand two hundred meters you can make a pause and try the next question before comparing it to what the teacher will find out thank you so here we have 50 hectometers plus 40 decimeters is equal to how many decimeters? So as usual, you have to convert. Here you first convert 50 hectometers into decimeters. These are 50 hectometers. Remember that the last digit is put in the position of the given unit, which is zero here. Zero is put under hectometers and then five is put before hectometer before zero and then you fill in with zeros until you get to the ASCII unit which is decimeter and then here you have 40 decimeters the ASCII digit is put under zero or under decimeters and then there we have four now you can add zero plus zero is zero zero plus four is four here zero can be brought down or as usual here you can add zeros here but zeros are in English there but it will help you to be sure that what you are doing is correct zero is brought down zero is also brought down and then five can be brought down can be brought down or you add five to zero and then you get five here the answer 50 hectometers plus 40 decimeters is equal to 50,040 decimeters Let's continue with subtraction. And then we are also given two examples. I will do the first one and then you try the next before comparing your answer to, to mine. Here you have three meters and 15 centimeters. When they write three meters and 15 centimeters, that end is replacing the decimal point. You can write the units in this way or use the decimal point the second example will be using the decimal points as usual you start with converting start by converting and then we have three meters and n means a decimal point 15 centimeters they have two meters and 35 centimeters Remember that always there is a decimal point when they are given different units. 
and then u uh, you subtract as usual 5 minus 5 is 0 1 minus 3 is not possible but can be possible often borrowing we borrow from 3 and then we remain with 2 the one that we borrowed is put before 1 and then we'll be having 11 11 minus 3 is 8 and 2 minus 2 is uh, 0 remember we always bring down the decimal point if you don't bring down the decimal point your answer will be long here the decimal point is brought down and then the answer is zero meter zero meters and 80 centimeters or 0 0.80 centimeters i think i've seen the answer and then you can try the next question you are given this meters and meters you have to give the answer in kilometers okay compare your answer to this one we start by converting we fill in we when we are given the decimal point there we always start filling by the ones five is ones and then we fill in the decimals after the ones is always put under the given units the given unit is the decimeters so five is put under decimeters and then the digits before decimeters uh, before five are just filled in that way and then we put our decimal point the next one is the decimal the decimal which is two is put under centimeters here you can read as 125 decimeters and 2 centimeters and then remember that the ask the unit is kilometer before we start subtracting we first convert that one into kilometers so we first remove this decimal point and then we put zero in the place of decimeters with a decimal point you note that one we put zero in the given unit, the ask the unit, and then we put a decimal point. We are moving the decimal point from this side until we get to this side. And then we put in zero. So the remaining empty spaces is filled in with a zero. The next given unit is 10.6 meters. We start with zero and then one a decimal point and then six we are converting it into kilometers before we start subtracting we move our decimal point to this position and then we move it we move we move it to the day to the kilometers and then we put the decimal point with the zero and then the remaining space is filled in with zero and then we subtract as usual two is brought down five minus six is not possible we borrow from two remain with one and then one which is borrowed is put before 15 before five and then 15 minus six is nine one minus zero is one one minus one is zero 0 minus 0 is 0 and 0 minus 0 is 0 as i told you before remember always to bring down this decimal point because if you forget it your answer will be long thank you very much you can now try questions as a draft and then after working on them you write them properly and then you send them to your parents or your teacher for constructive feedback.